So I've been riding the Zero a while and I've been asked, you know, tons of questions. How far does it go? How fast does it go? How long does it take to charge? All that. But a couple weeks ago, someone asked me, electric motorcycles, what's the point? So let's take away all the environmental benefits, the cost savings between charging and fueling up, uh, the lack of any real maintenance. Let's not even let's not even talk about that stuff. Let's talk about power. I feel like when you see an ad for an electric vehicle, it's all about saving the world and being green. And yeah, that's a part of it, but. Nobody really talks about the motors and the technology behind them. The biggest appeal to me about electric vehicles is the instant torque. It's ridiculously fast, right from the get-go. You don't need shifting, there's no gears. An electric motor creates full torque right from zero RPMs. So when you're entering a turn, you don't have to downshift to get more power. You just roll on the throttle. There is engine braking. It's called regenerative braking. You use the zero app, you can adjust that and bring it, bring it all the way down if you want. I have that in custom mode where there's no regen. So you can just coast or you switch it into sport mode, which has a little bit of regen or eco mode, which slows you down a lot when you let off the throttle. So if you like the engine braking feel of a V-twin, you can set it to that. I'm used to V-twin because it's got no engine uh. braking. It's already got the torque of a V-twin. And Regen actually puts energy back into the battery. So anytime you're going downhill and you're off the throttle, the bike uses the motor to create more energy. Isn't that crazy? And everybody who jokes about riding this in the rain getting electrocuted. No, you don't. So they're impossible to stall, there's no such thing as a false neutral, there's no issues with the computer dealing with you know, fuel mapping, there's no lulls in the power, it's all the power, all the time, as much as you want it. So to me, that is the point. But we can talk about all the other benefits. In terms of maintenance, there really isn't any. There's no timing belts, you don't have to adjust the valves. Aside from brake fluid, there isn't really any liquid on this bike. And Zero even made theirs belt drive so that you don't have to clean the chain. So the Zero on a full charge took me over 160 kilometers, which is about 100 miles range. To do that, it cost me between two and three dollars to charge. So to go that far on gas, I have no idea. It's way more. And it's all because of efficiency. If you take the same energy density of gas versus a battery, basically you have, you know, this, a brick-sized battery and a little bit of gas. So you think, okay, well that little bit of gas weighs, you know, so much less than a battery, so why don't I just use that? But the actual internal combustion engine is so inefficient, the fuel has to go through all these different compartments and stages of combustion. Whatever energy is in the gasoline that you put into your engine, you only get about 30 or 40 percent of that. It's like buying a bottle of water and then pouring some of it out. Well, that was dumb. Whereas with an electric motor, they're so efficient, there's only one moving part that a lot of them, including this one, are over 90% efficient. So when you're stuck in traffic and you're completely stopped, you're not using any energy. Everyone else still has their engines running. So it's like they're just burning money. So the energy that you waste in an internal combustion engine is massive. And it just doesn't make sense. Also, the convenience of having a gas station on every corner doesn't even come close to having an electric vehicle. You can plug this thing in anywhere. Anywhere that you plug in your phone or your laptop or whatever, you can plug in your bike or your car. Do I miss shifting? No, not even a little bit. 
when you learn how to ride a motorcycle, they teach you all this stuff that you think is integral to what it means to ride a motorcycle. It has to have an engine, it has to have gears, it has to be loud. All of a sudden, if you remove those things, it's just a toy. But to me, first of all, if you take away the engine, you get a really smooth ride since there's no vibrations. And since you don't have to worry about shifting, all you have to do is concentrate on your line. And be able to go as fast as you want without worrying about shifting it makes it so much simpler, so much more fun. See, when you don't have the loud exhaust drowning out nature, you can hear the birds, you can hear the, the trees. Okay, I can't hear the trees. But, you know, it's really nice just cruising around, not making any noise. <laughs> that guy didn't even see me. I bet he didn't hear me either, but that's another thing I want to talk about. So this whole loud pipes save lives crap, it has to go. My buddy Panero says, if you're driving with your ears, you're doing it wrong. If you're a biker, then you already know that people aren't paying attention to you. You're so much more aware of what's going on. You're always riding passive aggressively, trying to make sure there's no you know, idiots pulling in front of you. I mean, the day I got this bike, I just split lanes and I was kind of worried, you know? A lot of people warned me about it. They're like, oh, what do you do when you split lanes? People aren't gonna be able to hear you. And I thought back to when I was on the Ducati, which is a pretty loud bike. And even then people couldn't hear me. So I had to flash my headlights. I had to just ride cautiously, you know? A lot of people think they're totally silent, but they sound awesome. Come on guys, it's 2016. What do you think vehicles are gonna sound like? They're gonna sound like the future. So to sum up why I bought an electric motorcycle, we've come to the point where buying fuel is a choice. They're just more efficient, more convenient, and more powerful options now. So whenever people ask me if I'll ever buy another gas bike, I say, what's the point? 